In this video, I will be showing you how the performance of the Radeon RX 7600 compares to the RX 6600, RTX 3060 Ti and other similar graphics cards in both older DirectX 11 and newer DirectX 12 benchmarks as well as ray tracing benchmarks. Please note that the RX 7600 benchmark results were collected from multiple reviewers, with the data being averaged. The GPU was tested using pre-launch press drivers, so there is a possibility that AMD could release an updated driver before launch, which may affect the scores. Before delving into the benchmarks, I would like to quickly introduce our sponsor. CDKeyOffer.com is my number one choice for when I need to buy a cheap Microsoft software key. They are a reliable provider of affordable keys to me, my friends and the channel community for over two years now, so highly recommend it. Use my discount code IVADIM to get 30% off an already amazing price and grab yourself a Windows 10 Pro for $16, Windows 11 Pro for $23 or Office 2021 for just $52. You can use PayPal for fast and secure payment and get your key instantly. Links to all these products are in the description below. Now let's examine the benchmarks. By the way, the data was leaked by videocards.com, big thanks to them. When it comes to benchmarking modern gaming graphics cards, the 3 d Mark benchmark scores provide a consistent and comparable metric. Of course, FPS will vary from game to game, but the 3 d Mark scores offer a good indication of where the RX 7600 might stand in terms of average performance on FPS charts in reviews, which are expected to be published in the next few days. According to the latest leaks, these reviews will go live on May 24th. However, as with any unannounced plans, the company can change the date. Speedway, the newest 3D Mark benchmark built on DirectX 12 Ultimate with ray tracing, does an excellent job of representing performance comparable to the latest AAA games. The RX 7600 outperforms the RX 6600 in this test by 39%. Unfortunately, even the previous generation NVIDIA RTX 3060 GPU beats the RX 7600 by 11% in terms of ray tracing performance. But a 39% increase in generation over generation improvements is certainly significant. TimeSpy, a DirectX 12 benchmark without ray tracing, represents rasterization performance in modern games. At 1440p resolution, the RX 7600 performs 31% better than the RX 6600, placing it just 10% below the RTX 3060 Ti. At 4K resolution, the RX 7600 scores 37% higher than its predecessor, the RX 6600, and trails the 3060 Ti by 13%. Next we have Firestrike, an older DirectX 11 benchmark. Despite its age, it remains relevant as it can provide insights into the performance of older games on the RX 7600. At 1080p, the RX 7600 brings a 30% increase over the RX 6600 and manages to beat the 3060 Ti by 5%. Impressive. At 1440p, the RX 7600 and 3060 Ti are evenly matched, with another impressive generational performance leap of 33% versus the RX 6600. The difference between the RX 7600 and 3060 Ti at 4K is negligible, but the new AMD GPU once again delivers a 33% improvement over the RX 6600. According to the latest leaks, AMD plans to sell the RX 7600 starting from $300 or potentially for as low as $270. Considering that the previous generation RX 6600 launched with a $329 price tag, the RX 7600 is shaping up to be an excellent replacement due to its lower price and average performance improvement of 33%. NVIDIA's RTX 4060 and 4060 Ti show a much smaller generation over generation performance improvement. So I think Nvidia should take note of the RX 7600 and adjust the RTX 4060 and 4060 Ti prices accordingly, otherwise I can't see any reason to recommend the RTX 4060 over the RX 7600. If you are interested in the RTX 4060 and 4060 Ti, then check out my video about these graphics cards at the link in the description below after watching this video. 
It is worth noting that the RX 7600 has just 8GB of memory, which can be problematic if you want to play the latest AAA games using the ultra-quality graphics preset at 1080p. But if the price indeed ends up being lower than $300 and there are no better alternatives on the new GPU market, it will still be easy to recommend the RX 7600 over the RTX 4060. A potential future release could see a 16GB version of the RX 7600. Given its appeal among gamers, it would likely be a tremendous success. Hence, I hope AMD considers introducing this variant. However, as it stands, there is no tangible evidence of such plans currently in existence. That is my opinion about the Radeon RX 7600. What about you? Let me know in the comments what do you think about all this. And if you enjoyed this video, then give it a like and subscribe for more if you haven't already. It was I, Vadim, until next time.